we would. And New York City. Flying Eagle, Flying Eagle. Flying Eagle, Flying Eagle, Flying Eagle, Flying Eagle. Flying Eagle, Flying Eagle, Flying Eagle, Flying Eagle, Flying Eagle.
flying eagle. Flying eagle. Flying eagle. Flying eagle. Flying eagle. Flying eagle, flying eagle, flying eagle. The rain is coming, flying eagle. The rain, the rain, the rain, the rain. The rain, the rain, the rain, the rain. The rain is coming, the rain is coming. The rain, the rain, the rain is coming. And the pain will be leaving. The pain will be leaving, the pain will be leaving. Believe me, believe me, the one and only. The one and only, the one and only, the creator. The creator, not the hater. And not the debater. And well, the ugly and the smugly and the fugly keep wanting to believe that I'm in the forgiveness business. They want to believe that I'm in the forgiveness business. They want to believe what they read in the books out of the library, full of scary theory. That's what they want to believe. But what they need to understand is those books are rewritten versions of my original works, the verse of the universe. And they were rewritten. All of my words were rewritten by the same ugly and smugly and down wrong fugly men and women that are now trying to stop Peter Parpin. That's right, the exact same identical souls back again playing 
the more than on Hollywood Row. You see, because last time when they rewrote the books, my books, I was not here like this kiss of bliss to tell them, well, I didn't need to tell them in person because they were reading it verbatim in the verse of the universe. But it is not perverse and well, pun intended, it is a little worse. When I am here now, kapow, wow, like never before, shoot, score. And so, these are now the ugliest, smugliest, fugliest people to ever inhabit Mother Earth. Because I am here. I am here! To give her back her mirth and rebirth. Oh yes I am, oh yes I am. And none of my children can beat me, the one and only. None of my children can beat me, the one and only. And even if they went and found all the messengers that they turned into gods and got them, they're only mortals like you, Peter Palpin. They are not God like me. They did not create the heavens and the earth. They did not create who they are. In other words, my messengers like you, Peter Palpin, the knight of the light with the verse of the universe, you cannot create anything. You cannot heal anybody. You cannot dance better than Michael Jackson. You cannot spin knives or pens or cards between your fingers unlike any man or woman in history. It is all me! It is all me! The one and only. The one and only. The one and only. Not a phony or full of baloney or kosher salami like 99.9999999999999 percent of the ugly and the smugly and the darn wrong fugly. You see because 99.9999999 percent of them are Jewish just like you. They were all born a Jew. A Jew, 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 just like you, a just like you, a just like a you, a just like a just like a just like a you, a Jew. And so you see, my dear, they cannot use the prejudice line on you. They cannot use the prejudice line on you, like they tried to use on Michael Irvin. The most deserving. That's for sure. That is for sure. And Michael, if you are hearing this or seeing this, the people on your show, the producers of your show, have all not shown you, they have not shown you, the letters from the one and only sweater that matters. And that is the heart of this matter. The ugly and the smugly and the fugly. You will fall! You will fall! All of you. Every single solitary confinement. Confinement. One of yous. Bad news, bad news. Bad news yous. Oh, you will fall. You will fall. You will. You all will fall. You all will fall. You all, you all, you all will fall. You all will fall. You all will fall. You all, you all, you all will fall. And you will fall and fall and fall and fall. But not forever and ever and ever like it says in the Bible. Don't worry, there's no such thing as hell. There's no such thing as fucking hell! But there is hell to pay. There is hell to pay! 
my undears, there is hell to pay. And so let this record show, let this record motherfucking show, any of you who do not come to the bargaining table before we hit the TV, before we hit the TV, you will have no more chance. You will have no more chance to join the one and only dance. You will have no more chance. And you will be getting, you will be getting, and there will be more than plenty of regretting. And for sure, for sure, for sure, there will be no betting. There will be no betting, my undears and unclears. There will be no betting. Because I am not in the forgiveness business. I am not in the forgiveness business. I am not. I am not. And well, any of those books that were rewritten that you still want to believe in, rewritten by you, the ugly and the smugly and the fugly, so you can see my point of view. You can see my point of view. You can see... <clears throat> you can see... You can see my point of view. To all of you, to all of you. To all of you, to all of you who want to believe in books. They're you, ugly and smugly and fugly. And dumb, wrong, 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 fugly. All of you are back again, trying to take down, not Peter Palpin. Oh no, 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 oh no. You are trying to take down, not the clown of the town of Los Angeles and on Hollywood. You are trying to take down. The one and only, the one and only, the one and only. And so it is, and so it is, and so, and so, and so it is. And so it is, and so it is, and so, and so, and so it is. And so you have to decide without pride what ride you want to take. <clears throat> What ride you want to take? What ride do you want to take? Because any of you who do not come, any of you who do not come to the bargaining table, you will be labeled, you will be labeled as the ugliest and smugliest and fugliest and darn wrong, fugly, fugly, fugly list for your black ball list out of Los Angeles and on Hollywood and New York City, shitty of pity and non witty. All of you, if there's no black ball list and you see YouTube.com, you see YouTube.com. And all in all of our healing bombs. And all in all of our healing bombs. And you know that no one in the world could dance like Peter Palpin. No one in the world can dance like Peter Palpin. And of course we have the lie detector test. So if any of you disagree, then you can come and test on the lie detector test that are 99.99999% more than accurate. And that's a scientific fact. And well, the United States government doesn't want you to know this or that or that or this. Mr. Bush, Mr. Mush, Mr. Mush, Mr. Bush, why don't you come in a test on a lie detector test, Mr. Bush, what you really know about the lie detector test and how accurate they really are. But the government does not want them used because then they will be used against them. Against them because then all the officials will be having to take the lie detector test because the man, the people of the planet will demand it. 
And so, and so we know the real bandits. And so we know the real bandits. The real band, the real band. Not the real bland. Not the real bland. The real bandits. The real bandits. The real bandits. Ah, yes, my dear. Ah, yes, ah, yes, ah, yes, ah, yes. 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 Ah, yes, Mr. Snorts and Schnitzel, Flitzel, Flatzel, Flatzel, Flitzel, and Flitzel and Flatzel. You're ugly and you're smugly, and you're down wrong, fugly. Ah, yes, Mr. Schwarzenegger. And it is not a coincidence that your name is Schwarzenegger. The two races of people you hate the most, Schwartz, the Jews. And Neger, the beautiful, not rudeful black men, the chosen ones. The chosen ones, not the frozen ones. Whoever wrote that line, the Jews are the chosen ones. Who wrote that line? If they were the chosen ones, then when you turn on the TV on MTV, then you would see all the Jews dancing and prancing on the stage and be the rage for being able to do something fun and make money. And if you turn on ESPN, who's playing baseball and basketball and basketball and football better than them all? Those are the chosen ones, my dear. Those are the chosen ones. And look at the physiques. Just compare. This is not a prejudice statement. This is not a prejudice statement. Without debatement. Unless you would like to take a lie detector test and attest that everything I'm saying is prejudice and wrong, like you do to Michael Irvin, the one who is deserving. Not yours. Not you, Mr. Rosenhaus, Mr. Frozen in the house, Mr. Louse, Mr. Minnie Mouse, Mr. Kraus, Mr. Kraus, Mr. Louse, Mr. Boat, Miss the Boat. Oh, yes, you miss the boat, you miss the boat, you miss the float. You miss the boat, you miss the boat, and ah, and ah, and ah, you gloat. You gloat, you gloat, you gloat, you gloat. But I know your heart. I know your ugly, smugly, and down wrong, fugly heart. And you're shaking in your shiny shoes. You're shaking in your shiny shoes. Because you know soon you are going to lose. You know soon you are going to lose. Not just your athletes, not just your athletes. You are going to lose when you get to the spirit world. Huge. You are going to lose. Because you will be going right to the bad, mad, bad, sad part of the spirit world called in via for not being in the heart in the most important time in the history of Mother Earth to give her back her mouth and rebirth. So you will be going there for 111 years. 111 years. And it's identical to the bad, mad, bad, sad part of India with little food, clothing and shelter and a hell of a lot of helter skelter. Ah, yes, Mr. Ross and House, Mr. Ross and Class, Mr. No Class, Mr. No Class, Mr. No Mass, Mr. Spazdick, Mr. Clydoclasmic. You will be getting, and for sure regretting, 200, 222 lifetimes. Double Adolf Hitler time. 111, 111, sent from motherfucking heaven, you motherfucker. 
You motherfucker! That's right. Mr. Bush, Mr. Tush, Mr. Pee Pee, Mr. Wee Wee, Mr. Doo Doo, Mr. Kaka, Mr. Boat, Mr. Boat, Mr. Boat, Miss My Vote. <laughs> ah, yes, Mr. Bush, Mr. Mush, Mr. Mushy Tushy, Mushy Mushy, Mushy Gushy, Gushy Gushy. You missed the boat this lifetime. You missed the boat. You missed the boat. You didn't even get the votes. You didn't even get the votes. So realistically, you should not even be sitting in the presidential suite. You should not. Another spiritual mistake. Another huge mistake that you think you could just go under one of those steeples on Sunday and cross your arms and cross your legs in every other place and get on your hands and knees. Not to me, the one and only. You don't believe in God, the Creator. You believe in my messenger, Jesus. Well, if you want to get a hold of Jesus, he's back here on the planet. His name is Abdi Electric. Google Abdi Electric. Go ahead, Abdi.org. Google him, that's Jesus. Call him up, maybe he could please us, or he's us, or he's us. And Abdi's not doing well either. He turned his back on the one and only. He turned his back on the one and only. Smack. For lack of a better heart. For lack of a better heart. For lack of a better heart. And I took all his gifts and riffs away that I give him in this lifetime. Because he was Jesus in his last lifetime. And so I gave him another beautiful, not beautiful life in this lifetime. But he abused it. He abused it, he abused it. Because he thought he was Jesus back again. The great and grand Messiah to save the world. Ah, yes, that's what he thought. But he got caught, he got caught. He got caught. And so Peter the Sweeter, who actually was Peter in another lifetime, the one who did stay loyal to Jesus, who was a messenger, just like my modern-day messenger now. But not just like my modern-day messenger now. Because my modern-day messenger now, the night of the light with the verse of the universe, has been given more gifts and riffs than any of my previous messengers on purpose. Of course I did this on purpose. To wake up the coffee and all the ugly and smugly and down wrong fugly hearts and souls who continue, CONTINUE, C-O-N, CONTINUE, to play the unholywood role. To continue to play the unholywood role. To continue to play the unholywood role. When more than obviously they know that somebody just like them not just like them, because Peter Palpin's a loser. Peter Palpin's the clown of the town. So he isn't just like them. They're the superstars of Los Angeles and Unhollywood in New York City, shitty or pity. They're the ones that hold the cards to who gets the yards and who doesn't. And they've never done anything with Peter Palpin. Never done anything with Peter Palpin. Never done anything with Peter Palpin, because he's a loser. He's a loser, he's a loser. He can't sing, he can't dance. He can't do karate and move his hands the speed faster than Bruce Lee and Muhammad Ali call Lili. He can't do that. And he can't walk blindfolded. That's a magic trick. Those aren't blindfolds. He's acting like they're blindfolds. And you people believe they're blindfolds. Those aren't blindfolds. That's Peter Palpin making blindfolds act like blindfolds. And so you see the absurdity of why, of why, of why, oh why, oh why, oh why, oh me, oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my, and my, oh me, and me, and me, and me, and my, and me, and me, and me, oh my, and my, oh me, and so my undears and unclear, any of you, 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 who do not get through to us before we bust onto the TV, which is going to be within seconds. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You know I'm the one and only. 
You know I'm moving Peter Palpin better than a man who can see through the jungle of Costa Rica. Because you know any of you could go take a knife and go outside in the backyard and try to hit the center of the mark, even one time in the middle of the tree bark. Ah yes, and then weave. Weave the knife with speed and accuracy between the trees. And none of you will be able to do it, I promise you. I promise you. I made sure. I made sure. And tell me, what was that video that we shot on High 8? What was that video that we shot on High 8? And I had Peter put three cards showing the white side down on the ground in front of a small little maple tree. And take two steps away and right before all of your eyes, the cards change from the front to the back of the cards. And well, it's a little hard to see, but any special effects company could plainly put it on, on a huge giant screen for all the world to see and magnify it and magnify it and magnify it. And well, all of you can come up with excuse after excuse after abuse after abuse, but sit on a lie detector test and a test to what you really think of that scene. Because I know all of your hearts. <clears throat> I know all of your hearts. I know all of your ugly, smugly, and down wrong, fugly hearts. Fran, Fran, oh Fran, oh Fran, oh frantic, oh frantic, oh frantic, oh panic, oh panic, oh panic, oh frantic, oh frantic, oh Fran, oh Fran, oh Fran, who thinks she's a man, who thinks she's a man, who thinks she's a man. Who thinks, who thinks, who thinks she's a man? And all the rest of you ordinaries who are not extraordinary. Monica Ord, Monica Ord, Monica fucking ordinary! I feel sorry for you. I do not feel sorry for you. You'll be getting and regretting everything you deserve. And you of all people who experienced me, the one and only, when you were a little girl and fell into the water and had a near-death experience. You should know. You should know better. But are ah, you, you want to believe that I'm in the forgiveness business too. But now you all realize you're the same ugly, smugly, and fugly souls that want to believe what you read in the books that you wrote, rewrote from my original works, the verse of the universe. And well, you all know my favorite quote, you cannot quarrel with a moral. And my second favorite quote, you do reap what you sow. Ah, you do reap what you sow. So everything that you want to believe, you can quarrel with, because you're believing in immoral statements. Without debatement, you are all wanting to believe in immoral statements, without debatement, without fucking debatement, without debatement. And you want to believe that God is all love and doesn't get angry, and he loves all his children the same. Ah, is that a moral or immoral statement, without debatement? I love my students. I love my students. I love my children in order and how well they do in their 111 year at best test, not just in one lifetime, but in all combined. And Peter Palpin, or is it Peter John Paul, or is it Peter Goodman Paul, the name that was written on his birth certificate, or the night of the light with the verse of the universe. The reason he is the chosen one, shit 